Yeah, these are oyster mushrooms. Republic of Benin lies along Africa's Midwest coast. This shore has a deep association with the slave trade and was historically known as the Slave Coast. Benin is struggling with a cultural shift from a mostly agrarian society to a more urban industrial economy. A project here called the Songhai Center combines African ingenuity with green technology to jumpstart a generation of agricultural entrepreneurs. The project is named after a pre-colonial Malian empire, and the name symbolizes Africa's potential for self-determination and prosperity. Trainees are encouraged to return to their rural home villages to share what they've learned. Throughout the model farm, one area's waste becomes another area's fuel input. Fish, quails, chickens, and guinea fowl are raised here. Insects grown on food scraps feed fish cultivated in the aquaculture area. Water hyacinths at the edge of those pools filter black water in the sewage system, which in turn gets used as fertilizer. Methane gas produced from animal waste is converted into cooking fuel and electricity that helps run the center. Solar panels throughout the Songhai Center generate power to run machines in an internet cafe. Each of these parts interlock to form one big green tech puzzle. Scrap metal is welded into parts that would cost too much to buy from overseas. Aid creates dependence, but small businesses foster independence. The Songhai Center produces specialty products like mango and ginger soda and exports them overseas. Here, a group of women prepare ginger root for processing. The center develops many other products that can be sold in the market, including rice and soybean oil. Leftover soy meal is used to feed animals. After coconut meat is torn out of its shell, the discarded husks become a base on which to grow exotic, edible mushrooms. The project has expanded to six centers across Benin, with a seventh center just across the border in Nigeria. There are plans to open new tech agriculture hubs in other African countries and spread a new kind of homegrown development throughout West Africa. For Boing Boing TV, I'm Shani Jardin. I'm <laughs> sorry.